Traveling around the world is surely everyone's goal, but the problem that people face is where should I go? There are lots of places that are best for traveling, but if you are interested in seeing the beauty of nature, then Croatia might be the best place for you. Here are 9 beautiful places to visit in Croatia. At number 9, we have Zagreb. Croatia's capital and largest city is a bustling metropolis with both traditional and modern tourist attractions. The city, which is located in northwest Croatia, dates back to the 2nd century AD, when Hungarian King Ladislaus founded a diocese. Zagreb is now a large cosmopolitan metropolis in the center of Croatian culture, academia, and government. The city is separated into an upper and lower town, with the upper town serving as the historic heart of the city where visitors may stroll through cobblestone streets and explore old medieval churches, castles, and palaces. This city is sure to be a beautiful place. Now on to number 8, the Korčula. Korčula is made up of beautiful green woods, vineyards, olive orchards, and attractive settlements like Blato, which is noted for its Baroque churches and long promenade lined with lime trees, lined with stores, restaurants, and hotels. Lombarda is known for its white sand beaches, but it also has various ancient sites from Greek and Roman colonies. Korčula Town, the island's major town, is a historic walled town with Venetian Renaissance architecture, vibrant marketplaces, and a plethora of tourist attractions. Korčula's food is one of the city's attractions. While the island has a number of foreign restaurants, the local staples of lamb, cured ham, and fresh shellfish cooked with olive oil and parsley should be sampled. Posip and Rukatak the island's indigenous wines are also not to be missed. Who would have thought that city can offer this much fun, right? Number 7. Pula On the Adriatic Sea's southern edge is a renowned tourist attraction that has been attracting visitors since ancient Roman times, when crowds went to the city's amphitheater to see gladiator battles. It is most renowned for its plethora of Roman remains and variety of cultures, having been administered by many governing entities over the years. It presently belongs to Croatia. Pula is a lively city with a lot to see and do. The city's main attraction is a Roman amphitheater from the first century. The amphitheater, known as the Arena, is one of the world's largest and best preserved of its sort. The Pula Film Festival takes place at the Arena in July. The old city gates, arches, monasteries, a Byzantine church, a Venetian fortification, and the Forum, the city's main square which is surrounded by Roman buildings and temples, are all noteworthy historic sites. Pula's natural beauty, which includes undulating hills and sun-kissed beaches, provides opportunities for outdoor recreation and adventure. The surrounding Brigini National Park and farming communities are also worth visiting, while the turquoise coastal waters and sandy beaches provide opportunities for fishing, sailing, swimming, snorkeling, and diving among old boats and World War I warships. At number 6, we have Zadar. Tourists are bound to flock to a 3,000-year-old city nestled on a gorgeous shoreline steeped in history. Zadar, on Croatia's northern Dalmatian coast, is one such city. Zadar may be described as the ultimate tourist destination since it has so much to see and do without the crowds that other famous places have. The city's old town is located in the center of the city and may be visited on foot. Roman ruins, medieval buildings, and several antique churches are among many attractions of the historic region. The Roman Forum, the circular St. Donat's Church, the 12th century St. Anastasia Cathedral, the Archaeological Museum, and the University of Zadar, which is one of Europe's oldest universities, are among the city's most prominent attractions. Aren't all these exciting stuff making you want to go to Croatia more? But wait, we are just on number 6. Stay tuned for more. Now we are finally on number 5, the Rovine. On the surface, Rovine appears to be a sleepy fishing hamlet, with its old world charm and natural beauty making it a popular tourist destination. Rovine is an archipelago of 20 islands located on Croatia's Istrian peninsula in the Adriatic Sea. With its old town situated on a tiny peninsula, Rovine's various attractions include historic monuments, gorgeous vistas, superb food, and contemporary tourist amenities. The Old Town is a tourist excursion with its narrow cobblestone lanes, stairways, arches, and other intriguing buildings. Seven medieval city gates, the 12th century town clock, the Balbi Arch, and St. Euphemia's Basilica 
an enormous Baroque cathedral packed with many exquisite art pieces, are just a few of the Old Town's historic beauties. The Valdebora Farmer's Market, the picturesque port, Carrera Street, which is packed with stores and art galleries, and Grisia Street, which is lined with artists and souvenir merchants, are all worth seeing. Now, the number 4 on our list, Split. Croatia's second largest city is situated on a peninsula off the Dalmatian coast and is known as the Mediterranean Flower. The blue water and majestic coastal mountains contrast sharply with the historic Roman buildings and orange roof dwellings. Split is a famous tourist destination due to its abundance of sunlight, magnificent attractions, restaurants, and nightlife. Furthermore, the bustling metropolis acts as a transit center for a number of Adriatic islands. The city's major attraction is its historic center, which has stunning Gothic and Renaissance architecture, the crown jewel of which is Diocletian's palace. This Roman emperor palace complex, built between 298 and 305 AD, is more like a little city in and of itself, with a maze of marble pathways and buildings hosting stores, cafes and bars. Many more notable constructions can be found within the palace, including St. Duje's Cathedral, Jupiter's Temple, Peristyle Square, and two ancient Egyptian Sphinx statues. Don't be too excited, because there are still three more beautiful places in Croatia you should know. Number 3 on our list is Plitvice National Park. One of Croatia's and Europe's most spectacular natural beauties, comprises of multiple gorgeous lakes, waterfalls, and lush forest. The 16 interconnected lakes, separated into upper and lower clusters, are the park's most remarkable features. The lakes are formed by natural travertine dams and range in hues from turquoise to blue, green, and gray. Visitors may explore the lakes and surrounding region by strolling or boating along the many wooden pathways. You might want to forget your home and decide to live in Croatia if you see the beauty of Plitvice National Park. Number 2 is Hvar. Hvar is a stunning Croatian island off the Dalmatian coast, known for its scenery of gorgeous beaches, lavender fields, and lush vineyards. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Adriatic Sea. Hvar Town, the capital of Hvar, is a lovely city with 13th century old walls, Gothic palaces, beautiful churches, and an intimidating medieval castle. The town square is one of Croatia's largest and most attractive, flanked by ancient buildings like as the 17th century arsenal and St. Stephen's Cathedral. If you think that these are the only things Havar can offer you, then you are wrong. Here's more of what this place can offer. From trekking among cliffs to swimming in quiet coves and beaches, the island's natural splendor offers outdoor pleasure and adventure. For those interested in exploring the adjacent Pekleni Islands, boat rentals and trips are available. View ancient artifacts and learn about Havar's Neolithic past at archaeological sites on the island. The cave of Grapseva is definitely worth a visit to witness its unique formations. The lovely towns that dot the verdant landscapes are excellent places to learn about the local culture. Tourists to Havar may choose from a wide range of eateries, from Croatian to Mediterranean to European. Havar Town comes alive at night with parties, pubs, and nightclubs with live music and dancing. If these beautiful places from Croatia are not enough for you, then here is the last one for you. Finally, at number 1, we have the beautiful Dubrovnik. The old city of Dubrovnik, known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, is one of the most popular tourist sites in the Mediterranean. Dubrovnik, on the Adriatic Sea's southern point, was founded in the 7th century on the basis of marine commerce. Despite persistent territorial challenges from Venice and the Ottoman Empire, Dubrovnik thrived as a center of literature, art, science, and education during the Middle Ages. Dubrovnik has numerous things, such as views that are worth sightseeing, to offer you, with its orange rooftop buildings standing out against the blue sky. The old town, the historic quarter, is brimming with a lot of historic features like old defensive walls, cobblestone lanes, majestic palaces, and breathtaking cathedrals. Inofrio's Fountain, a 15th century technical wonder, is a must-see. The old town is lit at night, creating a lovely atmosphere. Popular beaches such as Banji and Lepad are located outside of the old town and provide sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. Lokrum, an island with beaches, a monastery, and botanic gardens, is only a boat ride away. Croatia has so much more to offer. If given a chance, would you want to go there and see these nine beautiful places? Maybe this is not a question needed to be asked, right?